Hello, I am the Dark Knight Apologist, and welcome back to Dark Knight Apologetics. Hello, I am your host, Jeremy, and welcome to another video on my channel. Please like this video. This may be the last video I make about the pandemic for a while. Next week, I will be going back to doing videos on different topics. So, keep an eye out for that. Okay? There's something I wanted to say about the thing that Trump said in his uh, recent speech. Yeah, he said a stupid thing. I may be a Republican, and I may vote Republican, but that doesn't mean that I agree with everything the party does. You see, the president, when he said something about injecting disinfectants into you, yeah, I don't agree with that. That was a stupid thing. He should issue a, a formal apology for that. His PR team should force him to issue a formal apology for the stupid thing he said. He said a stupid thing. Uh, UV light does not belong in the human body. Disinfectants don't belong in the human body. The president said a stupid thing. And he should be forced to apologize for that. Before it does serious harm. So, yeah, he said a stupid thing. I don't care if it was a joke. I don't care if it was sarcasm. I don't care whatever excuse he wants to use. It was still a stupid thing. He shouldn't have said it in the first place. He should not have said that in the first place. It was a stupid thing to say. Just want to make that clear, okay? I'm not sure if this is going to be a short video, but uh, this is what I think the churches should be doing during uh, this pandemic. I, I honestly think the churches should stay closed. Now that may uh, sound weird coming from a Christian, but yes, I think the best thing for the churches to be doing right now is to stay closed and only hold online services. The churches really should only be holding online masses because that, that would, in my opinion, honestly be the best thing for the churches to do right now in this pandemic that we're having. With the whole virus out there and the pandemic, I honestly do think that the churches should remain closed. Not by order of law or anything, but voluntarily. We should voluntarily remain closed until there is a vaccine. In, in my opinion, that, that would be the best thing for the churches to do. And, and that is what I'm praying about. Because vaccines are a good thing and... Uh, the best way to show neighborly love, in my opinion, would be to encourage the churches to remain closed until there is a vaccine. Because if the churches are open, there's going to be big gatherings of people, and it's more likely that there will be a second wave of the, of the virus. And nobody wants a second wave. So, I'm going to put everything in God's hands because... His plan is his plan, and I'm not going to question his plan. But I honestly do think that the churches should remain closed. At least until there's a vaccine. Okay? That, that's what I think. I, I know this may seem, sound weird coming from a Christian, that that is my encouragement that that's what i want to happen i want the churches to remain closed 
okay? I don't know if that's what will happen, but I can tell you one thing. I'm not going back to church until there's a vaccine. Okay? Okay. To make a comparison to the uh, first century church in, in, uh, for, in the first century AD, yeah, they didn't have uh, buildings back then. They didn't have what we call churches back then. They met in homes. And today's modern day equivalent of that is, well, online mass. Online services is today's modern day equivalent of meeting in homes. So that's really what the church should be doing right now. We, we should be doing online services and encouraging people through Facebook, through uh, YouTube, through Twitter. That's where the, sh the church should be right now. The church should be online. That's where we should be, okay? I might link some articles from RTB in the description. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've been saying the same thing. Okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Links to Twitter and Discord will be in the description. This is the Dark Knight Apologist, and I just wanted to say, see you next time.